people are just struggling. Our Jose Martinez reports on a food hub in San Francisco's Mission District that is a lifeline for thousands of families and is now calling for help to keep its doors open. Maria Tekpat and her mother, Ophelia, remember vividly the day they first came to the Mission Food Hub in 2020. We would go to the grocery store and we were like, okay, we're looking for fresh produce. It was so expensive. Um, and then my mom one day had just found out about the Mission Food Hub and that's when she was like, okay, well, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see if I can get at least like a gallon of milk. Like many others in the Mission District, they had lost their jobs due to the pandemic and were struggling to make ends meet. We would come, I think, twice a week. And one time when we came, we were in line, I kid you not, maybe like five hours in. And my mom was to her breaking point. She was like, I don't think we're going to get to the very front of the line. But they did and are grateful to the Mission Food Hub for the help. So they became volunteers helping to pack and distribute food to their neighbors in need. This initiative was created in May 2020 to provide culturally appropriate groceries to families affected by the pandemic. At the height of its operation, the hub was serving 9,000 families three times a week. But now, as some normalcy has returned for many, the Mission Food Hub is struggling. It's empty. If you look at all, look at all the, all the, it's empty. Over here, it's empty. This whole, this whole space here is empty. This place used to be full of donations of food, uh, vegetables, fruits. Roberto Hernandez is the founder of the Food Hub. He says they can now barely offer food on Fridays. The number of families served has dropped from 9,000 to just 2,000. And even those numbers are at risk. So it's an all hands on deck operation. And here reaching out to every single person or company that has donated money before. What people don't realize is that we've been the um, essential workers, but we're invisible. And that's what we want to tell today to the public that don't forget the person that's your bus boy, the, the waiter, the dishwasher, the janitor, the people who do the hardest work in this city still need help. The situation here is part of a broader trend across California. According to CalMatters, the end of a pandemic era federal aid program in April of 2023 led to a spike in food insecurity. By the end of last year, more than 3.1 million households in California, including 1.1 million with children, were struggling with uncertain access to food. The Mission District, once ground zero for the coronavirus, remains deeply affected. Now people are going to start worrying about what's, what they're going to have on the table. And, you know, and we help out a lot of families, mothers and kids. You know, it's mainly a lot of families. So Maria and Ophelia are now begging for help to keep the doors open, fearing that without it, many families will have nowhere else to turn. If you'd like to support the Mission Food Hub or learn more about their work, please visit their website or reach out to them directly.